Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we do have the brand new Saturday Legends. Now, interesting Legends, definitely fun Legends, newer Legends. Not new in terms of brand new Madden Legends never gotten before, but new to this game. Um, players that we don't always see that often. I mean, I feel like they take years off, especially the love second one. But guys, the sets are out and everything's out, so of course everything is in game. I'm super excited for these legends now. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick up. Have to check it out. Have to go through it. I do want to build my team again. I did sell everything. Oh, well, selling a lot of things. I've been trying to wait, work up my coin stack. I've been waiting for most feared because that's kind of when I want to start building my team again. I'm liking all these drops, but I know what most fear is gonna do. I don't want to be on the wrong end of that, but. Besides that, guys, let's get into this now. For today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you guys haven't already, comment down below, like the video, turn on the noti bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad. If you do all those things, you will be entered to be shouted out. Now, for today's shout out, we got Michael Cavanaugh. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. Appreciate it, man. Keep it up. And, guys, again, for you guys, all you got to do are those, those instructions, and you'll be entered to be shouted out. Now, if you guys want any of these new legends today, and you're interested in picking them up and need the coins, or you want to go pay, buy them directly, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Everything's discounted even more. Take advantage of the super cheap prices, and you can get some training on there as well. Use code POOL 15% off your order. Let's go over to Legends and Players. Edgerin James, and we got Deacon Jones. Now, these are the two Legends for today. Of course, they are 92 overalls, just like Steve Smith and Ricky Jackson were, which does mean that their LTD uh, are going to be 93s. Now, Edgerin James sounds really, really good. Let me check out his stats in just a second. So does Deacon Jones. Both of them look... Like, they're going to be super solid in this game. Now, of course, i got to check him out and do a comparison. If Edger and James is as good as I think, he may be taking my running back spot. Although, I did love Reggie Bush. This He looks like a better Bo. Now, again, I hate Bo. I hate Bo Jackson Madden. I don't like playing with him. But i gotta, I got to compare size. I'm, I will no longer play with running backs that big. I don't care. I don't. They're, they're like a big tower. They're like a, they're like a tower just like waiting to be struck by electricity. I, I hate it. Everything hits them. It's annoying. They're on an electric rod. But still excited to go check them out. Let's head on over and go see the uh, packs. Of course, are always going to be in store if you guys are going to be opening packs. Today. I don't recommend it. Uh, I feel like those legend packs a few weeks ago were a tease where they gave everyone literally every last thing. Of course, we can rip a get a gold or so. Just I always like to throw those in there. Maybe we put an LTD. Maybe we pull the new full legends. Always got to toss one in there for good luck. I mean, guys, again, no LTD pulls from me ever. How long can that really last, right? How long? Is it possible? To last that long? I mean, I guess so, right? Okay, there, there's my 10k at packs. All right, I feel I feel confident that I wasted enough coins in this video to go ahead and go show you guys the players now. Guys, with the, with how cheap prices have been lately, that's why I don't recommend opening packs because, like, like yesterday with the 50 players, you could open up all those 50 packs and pulled nothing. Meanwhile, the 50 players are going for, like, 300k already. It's not worth it, look, 279. There's no point to open packs. Anyways, let's move on from that, though. Let's go check out the legends. I do want to see these prices and these stats, of course. I wonder if anyone's pulled them yet. Let's see. We got. Let's go to newest and go check them out. Now, of course, with these cards, they're going to be super expensive. Legends typically are more expensive than like the 50 players. Uh, like Steve Smith held some value as LTD at least, and so did Ricky Jackson. Now, if he, if for the price range for me, it really depends on their stats. So I'm gonna go through that in just a second once these cards are up. Guys, okay, so Deacon Jones base legends up. Let's check him out. Up for 939,000 cores. This is the base legend though. So remember, this is not the LTD. 80 speed amazing 80 excel amazing 88 strength great 89 tackles amazing 91 play rank 88 block shed 92 power move and 84 finesse but i have one issue with this card and that's the block shed so he's gonna fall short of the threshold by one which the issue is not many people run run stuff as one of their stuff now of course i have to check out if anything else gives block shed and stuff but if you can get that block shed above 90 he's gonna be one of the best right ends in the game of course now it does kind of throw me off a little bit that um let's see compared to aaron donald so compared to Aaron Donald, he's going to be way, way more athletic. That's that's a good sign. Way taller. Uh, not as strong. He's going to have a higher tackle, a higher play rec. He's going to have, let's see, the same block shit as Donald, but of course it's a three overall difference. Better power move, better fin uh, lower finesse move. So here's the thing. He's kind of like a better Aaron Donald. That's how I see him. He's a better pass rushing version. He's a better, uh, more athletic pass rushing version of Aaron Donald. The only thing with this is going to be though is that he's going not to hit, he's not gonna hit the block shooting threshold unless you have some certain chems on him. So if you get the block shooting threshold, he's a complete well-rounded baby Lawrence Taylor pass rusher. If you get the block shooting threshold completed. Now if you do not, he is gonna be no better than a regular pass rusher. 
So it really comes down to the defense you run as well. Like if you run a double outside linebacker blitzing scheme where you have Ricky, uh, Ricky Jackson and Lawrence Taylor and then DTs or something like that, then you can't even use them anyway. So then definitely take into consideration what defense you like to run before you go ahead and actually do something like that. So let's go sort this again by newest and let's see what's up. Oh, we got the Deacon Jones LTD version. Okay, here we go. So of course, this one looks like fully powered up and chemmed up. Of course, the block sheds one less. Like we, we, of course, knew. Any special stats stand out down here. The 90 impact block is really good. The 88 hit power is pretty good as well. Now, again, Card looks great powered up, of course. He's going to have crazy athleticism. Like, that's really good for a right end. Great strength. Great everything else. I just think that block should up. That block should get a little bit higher. And if you guys, if you put pa if you put pass rush on him, you can get his power move all the way up to, like, 97, 98. Like, that's crazy. This card can get really, really good. I just, of course, the block should just what's bothering me here. That block she needs to go up at least one, and then I'll be content. Because again, nothing's worse than being ran on all day. Like it's not, it's great to have pass rushers, but what sucks when they start running on you and you know that like your pass rushers don't have that block shed. So you know there's nothing you can do as long as they have the right blockers and the right run scheme. They're gonna keep running it down your throat, and that's always a demoralizing feeling. Now where is this other legend? Because he's the only one we're waiting for here. There we go. He's up. Let's see what his stats look like. Carter looks cool. Nine three overall, elusive back. He's got 91 speed now. That's kind of disappointing. That's kind of disappointing that the powered up one only is a 91 speed. Because we have that. Like we have Reggie Jack, we have Reggie Bush, we have Barry Sanders. Like, how does a 93 over running back that comes out in October have less speed than the running back that came out day one, which is fair because it's Barry, or less speed than Bo Jackson, right? Because Bo Jackson powered up gets 92. 92 excel, 91 agility, 90 carrying. 76 catching. He's a pretty good catching back, actually. 92 change of direction, 87 trucking, 81 break tackle, 91 break tackle. Now, what I would give you, what I will give you is the, my, my one point of emphasis is going to be he's probably the best power elusive back combo in the game. That's the one thing. Like, I know Bo's up there, but let's see, the change of direction is kind of going to be big here too. 92 change of direction. Bo doesn't have that. Bo doesn't have that elusiveness. So honestly, guys, he's better than Bo. And he's probably better than Reggie Bush because he also has power. Now, what's his juke looking like? And he can also catch. 91 juke, 87. Okay. So he's going to be kind of like the Amon Green from last year that came out. If you guys remember him, where he can do both. I actually really do like this Edger and James now that I'm looking at it a little bit more in depth. And I stopped criticizing it because he can do everything. He can catch out the backfield. He kind of like a Marshall Folk type build. Like he can catch out the backfield. He has some power. And he's also super elusive. Now, yes, he's going to be one speed short. He's gonna be one speed short of Bo, Bo Jackson, but again, Bo Jackson had no vertical, like no horizontal movement on the field. Like he was straight north and south all the time. Edron James can do a lot more than that, and he'll get the elusive abilities like evasive and stuff, and maybe even a power ability in there as well for that break tackle. So could be really good. I actually really do like him. I might actually pick him up. I'm, I'm contemplating if the price is right for him. I think this is a really, really, really good card. I really like him. Now, of course, I just wish that speed was one better. That's all I ask. One better. One better speed than that card instantly is a banger. But again, if you're comparing it to, it's kind of like a baby Barry, like a more powerful version of Barry, considering Barry only gets like 91 speed anyways. I think this card's solid. I really like that Edger and James cards. Of course, you can also pick up his base one, and you're just gonna have to go ahead and power him up and do the whole process. Which it does kind of suck, because I don't feel like powering him up. But again, it depends on the price. You're gonna have to remember, we always weigh the price down. If Edger and James' base is going for like 300k and his LTD is going for 400k, pick up the LTD. There's a bigger gap, like 300k, pick up the regular one, power them up, training's cheap. But yeah, guys, pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed to rank them. I think Edger and James is the better choice out of the two, but Deacon Jones is also a monster. I really like Edger and James. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your video. If you want a chance to shout out to Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, another Noti Bell. If you guys need coins, pick them up, which you probably should. I think these are two great legends again. Heading over to my reserve down below. Take advantage of this kind of coins. Or if you wait a little bit, the full legends will be up on there to purchase as well. Just go put up 50% off. Your order, I'm out. Peace.